Good morning, beautiful creatures. So today we are going to try something new and we're gonna ask your higher self for advice on how to show up for today or just like advice for the day, I guess. And um, see how that comes up. But yeah, this is advice from your higher self for today. So let's go ahead and we're gonna pull three. Um, three tarot cards, please. Um, and one oracle card here. So we have our first, second, and third card, please, Spirit. And a couple of on the flip, and I'm gonna let it fall out naturally. Third card, please, Spirit. Oh, there you go. So this is our card for today. Let me put them down in order. So we have the Nine of Cups. You have the Five of Wands. You have the Nine of Swords. I'm trying to see what's on the back of that deck. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so how to show up for today. Let me see if I can move this forward a little bit. But uh, really focus on what it is you want and um, defending that. So I feel like there is some sort of, hmm, I'm not sure if it's struggle with um, voicing your own opinions to a group or some sort of, maybe it's an idea at work. You, you have a brilliant idea and you're just having to struggle to get it heard. Um, but there's definitely some sort of standing up for yourself, finding the strength in that voice, knowing that there's only one choice and that's making them listen to you. And maybe that's not physically, maybe you have to write it down in an email so they can um, take that time and take a look at it themselves. But let's pull an oracle card here just to kind of, thank you help us with that. So we have look in a book. I still have to play around with like how we can fit everything in here. I have two different tripods, one's small and one's big, and both aren't great. So we're, we're working with what we have. But look in a book. Whatever question whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you the words you find will bring you insight you seek. So have you guys heard of like, I can't remember what it's called, one of the mancies, but like you, you pick whatever book you're called to, like look on the bookshelf, pick a book, and you know what, I'm going to do it for you right now because I have a book, a shelf full of beautiful books that are called me. And I'm being called to this beautiful Crystal Masters 333 by Elena Fairchild. I'm going to just let myself fall a page open, and this is what I'm being drawn to read to you. So this is um, Chapter 14, Buddha Compassion, and it has a stone called Pure Dot and Crease. So Initiation of the Bodhisattva Vow. Within a dark, fast open space, a yellow-green light flickers. Glowing more brightly, the flickering slows down and begins to pulse. The pulsations become slower. Each pulse of light becomes longer until the light simply glows, radiant and consistent. Or constant. <laughs> that would, I would have been better if I just left it. Anyway. Brighter, wider, more powerful, the light expands. Yellow-green rays of light illuminate open space, joy, happiness. So, I hope that resonated with any of you. I definitely feel like speaking your truth, living your authentic self is where you're going to find true happiness. Like the, the Nine of Cups is a, a wish come true card, but followed with the Five of Wands. And again, this is the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of anxiety that comes with it. And, um... If, if you are struggling, if you do need some advice and you have no one to turn to, look to a book. They are your friends. Go outside, take some deep, fresh breaths, 
and flip open and I guarantee you wherever your eyes are drawn to first that is going to be what um, you're, you're meant to sit and think with but I hope that resonates with you I hope that you have a good day if this is something um, that you are trying to defend or um, st speak up for you in your life have a voice for it. I give you I send you I not give you I send you all the love and courage and strength you need to do so do so I'm just really struggling today it's one of those days. Anyway, I love your kids and girls, but have a wonderful day. Bye.